Israel is one of the top five countries in the world, credited with having one of the best healthcare systems. This is according to the business news and financial information company Bloomberg Research. Israel has several state-of-the-art hospitals. Some of them, like Asuta Medical Center, is a private facility, while Hospital Sheba is a government institution and the biggest in the Middle East. One of the innovations they have come up with is the Da Vinci robot that is used in complex surgeries. This one is at Asuta Medical Center in Tel Aviv. A surgeon can sit here. If you have good internet lines, he can operate here on a patient in Kampala. According to the manufacturer, the robotic system is called Da Vinci, in part because Leonardo di Da Vinci invented the first robot. The academic said Da Vinci also used anatomical accuracy and three-dimensional details in his works. The Da Vinci is, the robot is what does the procedure, but the control is in a different console. Now here, you know, the, you will see that Da Vinci says here and the console and the surgeon is sitting here. And that is how it's done. According to Dr. Aaron Segal, the Da Vinci robotic surgery requires only a few tiny incisions and offers greater visions, precision and control for the surgeon. Potential benefits of the Da Vinci system for patients include reduced pain, lower risk of infections or complications, less blood loss, shorter hospital stays, less scary and quicker return to normal life. But they have done a transatlantic cardiac operation with the robot. The robot is commonly used in and is best for prostate cancer surgeries. Excellent for prostate. Prostate surgery is much better with the Da Vinci. Patients almost don't feel it. They, 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 it shortens the time of operation, uh, the time of admission, not of operation. The operation is a little longer. And they are, it's less traumatic and the patients are extremely happy with prostatic uh, Da Vinci surgery, and now we're also doing a lot of uh, colonic surgery. In Israel's hospitals, each health worker is required to wear a wristband with a sensor that can detect if the worker has used a nerve soap or reminds them to wash their hands before they attend to a patient. This is the docking station. This is where all the bracelets are being charged. And this has shown to increase the hand hygiene in our ICU. The Uganda Parliament's Health Committee members agree that this could be of value to Uganda's healthcare system. Because development is about consumption and technology. To, for us to sustain development, we must improve on the services we consume and we must also improve on the technology that we use. And of course, like you've seen here, the human resource is highly invested in. Most doctors here, most, special, most specialists in this place get their first training here, Second training is either in the UK uh, or in the United States of America. Maurice Chol, NTV, Tel Aviv.